Hello friends, I am Rajanish Arjandran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this particular video, we are going to study about the projection of lines which are parallel to both HP and VP. So in the previous video, we have learned about the introductory topics regarding this projection of lines and we have learned three rules. When a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, the projection of the line on that plane will be true length, will show true length and the projection on the opposite plane will be line parallel to x-ray of short term. Right? And I hope all of you have understood that. So in this particular video, I have already told we are learning about the projection of lines parallel to both HP and VP. So, what is a line which is parallel to both HP and VP? See, this is a line. Now this line is a parallel to VP as well as this line is parallel to HP. This is a physical position of a line which is parallel to both HP and VP. See, if, we, this, if this is VP and this is HP, now this line is parallel to VP as well as to HP. Right? Now, recall the previous rules. What the rule says? The rule says, when a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, the projection of the line on that plane will show true length, right? See, in this case, the line is parallel to both HP and VP. Leave it, it is parallel to HP, leave it, it is parallel to VP, right? So, when the line is parallel to VP, when the line is parallel to VP, the projection on VP or the front view will show true length. Is it clear? And the top view will be a line parallel to XY of short term length. Clear? So, since the line is parallel to VP, the front view will show the true length and the top view will be a line parallel to XY of short term length. Now, this line is also parallel to HP. The condition is the line is parallel to VP as well as with HP. So, since the line is parallel with the HP, the top view or the projection on HP will show true length and the projection on the opposite plane or the projection on VP will be a line parallel to XY of short term length. How can we combine these two? See, from the first case, that means when the line is parallel to VP, we obtain that its front view will be true length and the top view will be a line parallel to XY. Since the line is parallel to HP, we obtain that its top view will be a line parallel to X, its top view will show true length and its front view will be a line parallel to XY. Which means both the lines will show true length and both the lines should be parallel to XY line. Is it clear? See, with the previous conditions, we have obtained that since it is parallel to VP, front view will show true length and top view will be parallel to XY. Since the line is parallel to HP, top view will show true length and front view will be parallel to XY. Both these two conditions should have to be satisfied. So, what will be obtained? We will obtain that both the lines will show true length and both the lines should parallel to XY. Is it clear? So, what we have obtained? When a line is parallel to both the HP and VP, both the projections, that means the front view as well as the top view, will give or will show the true length and both the projections will parallel to x y line. So, this is the condition of lines parallel to both HP and VP. Why? Because since it is parallel to VP, front view should, true, should be true length and top view should be parallel to x y. Since it is parallel to HP, top view will show true length and front view should, should be parallel to x y. Both the conditions should be satisfied and these two conditions can be satisfied only if both the projections should be true length and parallel to x y line. So, when a line is parallel to both HP and VP, both the projections front view and top view will show the true length and will be parallel to x y line. Now, you can see in your screen the physical position of the line AB which is parallel to both HP and VP as well as its projection. From that you can clearly understand. And this condition can be clearly understood by doing a problem. The problem you can see in your screen right now. Draw the projections of a line AB of length 60 mm which is parallel to both HP and VP. The point A is 45 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. See, draw the projection of a line AB of length 60 mm. So, we can return as 
capital AB is 60. So capital AB means it is a true length of the line. So the true length of the line AB is given as 60, which is parallel to EHP and DB, which is parallel to both HP and DB. Also, the location of the point A is given as 45 mm above HP and 15 mm in front. The point A is given as 45 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of it. So, from where we can start? See, we have to draw the x y line. Initially, we have to draw the x y line. So, we have to draw the we have to draw the x y line. Now, the true length is given as 60. It is parallel to both HP and VP. The point A is 45 mm above 15 mm in front of. So, what will be the starting point for problem solving your problem? We can start with the point A. We have to locate the point A. That we that that we have learned in the projection of points. So the point A is 45 above 15 in front of. How can we mark the from the x-y line at a distance of 45 above above the x-y line? Locate a point, name it as A dash, and then below the x-y line at a distance of 50, name it as A, so that we have located the point A. Is it clear? This is 45 above. This is 15 above. Since it is above or above, it is uh, taken above the x-y line, and since this is in front of, we have taken below the x-y line and name it as A. So, if all of you have understood how to locate the point D. Now, it is given that uh, the line AB is parallel to both HP and DB. So, what is our rule? When a line is parallel to HP and VP, both the projections will show true length and both the projections will be parallel to XY line, right? See, the line is capital AB, so what will be its projection? Since the line is capital AB, its front view will be A dash B dash and the top view will be AB. So, we have A dash with us, we have A with us, so we have to obtain B dash and connect A dash with B dash so that we will get A dash B dash. If we are able to obtain small b, we can connect a with b so that we will obtain the projection a. How can we obtain b dash? We know that uh, since the line is parallel to both HP and VP, both the projections will show true length and both the projections will be parallel to XY length, right? See here, both the projections will show true length. That means uh, both the a dash, b dash and a b should be 60 and both the projections will be parallel to XY length. That means, that means, draw a line, a dash, b dash, at a distance of 60 mm, parallel to x y. Because both the projections, a dash, b dash and a b, will be 60 and parallel to x y. So, how can we draw it? See, from a dash, at a distance of 60 mm, parallel to x y line, located in dash. Similarly, from a, at a distance of 60 mm, that will be in the same line, because if this is 60, this should be 60. At a distance of 60 mm, locate B. Because both the A dash and A dash and the AB should be 60 and the parallel to XY line. That is our condition when the line is parallel to both HP and B. So, locate the A dash and the A. We know that uh, since the line is parallel to both HP and VP, both the projections A dash, B dash and the AB will be parallel to XY line and both the values should be 60. That can be drawn only like this. Now, this is completed. Now we have to dimension it. See, we know that uh, this is uh, 45 and this is 50. And this is uh, 60 because it is a problem. So, the problem is solved. Right, all dimensions are in yeah. So, I hope all of you have understood this problem.